how to add WhatsApp to Wix website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how simple and easy it is to add a WhatsApp button or the chat button of the WhatsApp into your website on Wix. The process is going to be very easy and very simple. We're going to head over Wix.com, sign in for an account, and then you are going to see or face up the site's dashboard. Once you have the site's dashboard, you're going to select one of the websites that you want to add the WhatsApp support because this is going to be uh, called a WhatsApp or a support type for the clients. So we are going to uh, click on select uh, and edit site on one of the websites that we want to add that option to. And we are going to see here the uh, dashboard of it. So. What we're going to do now is to select or click on design site. Then we are going to see the website loading up. I have made a mistake in here by clicking on it. So I was a little bit excited. I don't know why. So I am going to wait for the website to load up a little bit and then we are going to see it again. And um, as you can see, the website has responded very quick and this is something good. Now, how can we add the WhatsApp chat or the WhatsApp button to our Wix? So we have practically two options. Since our uh, Wix website has a app market on it, that means that we're going to see one of the developers that have thought of this idea on adding the WhatsApp support button. So basically we're going to head over to the app market of Wix and this is the first method. Click on add apps. Now we're going to verify that we have the app market in here and we are going to type in the name of WhatsApp only. WhatsApp, just like that. And we're going to click on it. So we're going to see tons and tons of apps. You can see here that we have this one. It has a premium site requirement and we are not going to uh, support this because I'm going to use the free one only. If you are going to have the premium site uh, set up you are going to use it and you're going to be welcome but in my case i'm going to use this whatsapp start chat button it is going to integrate or it is going to have a free plan available so we are going to get the result of this the button and you're going to see everything set up we're going to click on add site or add to site we're going to click on agree and we're going to see it in here so it is going to be set up i think that we're going to uh, click on open and we're going to see the dashboard now as you can see we have the whatsapp button and we have it in here installed on the apps so we are going to see it right there it is not visible on your site why before the visitors can see it so we are going to publish uh, the changes and publish uh, the, the changes okay okay so we are going to set up the show of the uh, of the specific button. Now we are going to have here the image av avatar. So this is Lorna Hensley sample, the avatar image. And go ahead and update it. I don't know why it is going to be something like this. Normally we are going to see something else. As you can see, this is the uh, WhatsApp button. So it is added also on the dashboard. You can go ahead and put the avatar online circle. We're going to see that. So if you're going to put it like this, it is going to be disappearing. You can control the avatar background color, as you can see. So it is going to have this sound also. Uh, here we have the title of the person that has or taken charges of the, um, as you can see, or charge of the uh, chats, descriptions, the online, I am online. Offline, if you are going to put it offline, I'm going to be back soon, and etc. I'm going to remove the sample. And we are going to see here the desktop link. So basically, uh, you're going to have here a desktop link of the phone number. So you can go ahead and add in your phone number and also a mobile link if you are going to be in here. So you can go ahead and set up, as you can see, the um, online days or the offline and then you're going to set up everything so here we can add a person you can add a design and that person is going to be something like this i'm going to remove that person 
So the sound is going to be the, uh, as you can see in here, uh, of the uh, bubble. So we are going to ignore it, please. Now we are going to see the design, the button position, the button style. As you can see, we have some button styles like these, like those, and etc. And we are going basically here to have the button styles, the button background color, the button effects. Uh, so we have some effects in here added, like these or the appearance effects. The button notification number, as you can see. The button speech bubble, you're going to have it. The button pulse effect, you're going to have the pulse effect, which is going to be this one. And we have some options that we can see like the pop-up outside click, close pop-up, a pop-up effect, the uh, pop-up head title, and etc. So I'm going to deactivate the sound because maybe it is going to be annoying for someone's. And here we have it. You can activate the cookies and also change the browser title and etc. Now, what are we going to do is to click on publish changes and things are going to be in here upgrade to premium to unlock more features we are not going to need more features but we are going to have our website added in here so we are going maybe to click on preview so i don't think that this is going to be a website that has been published i don't know so normally we are going to expect our whatsapp button to appear in here so we are going to uh, refresh our or publish the website first. And that is something that we need to do or to have. Then we are going to click on view. And normally it is going to be appearing in one of the pages or on all the pages normally. So it will take maybe a little bit of time to set up, but you're going to have it in here. So uh, that was the first method. Now, for the second method, we are going to rely on a, another platform, which is going to be ElfSight. So, in case you do not like the button that you have, you're going to create a widget. ElfSight is going to be well known for creating widgets. So, you're going to head over ElfSight.com, click on widgets, then you're going to see the social widgets. We are going to see Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest feeds, but we are not going to be in here. I think that I'm not going to head over the socials, but the chats instead. So we are going to have here Facebook, Instagram, Line, Telegram, WhatsApp. We're going to click on WhatsApp chat. Then we are going to click on create a widget for free. So basically we are going to have here the widget created. We're going to click on view the widget. And then we're going to start um, setting up the widget. In my case, I have it created already. So we are going to edit it. So I'm going to put a demonstration on the widget. How can it be? For example, this is the widget. How uh, is things going up? So the number or the link of your WhatsApp desktop, for example, to receive the messages and also store, store them. Here we have the content, which is going to be represent the bubble icon, the picture, the, uh, as you can see, the name captions and etc. We have the settings. With position, and you can see here are the chat display settings, open chat triggers, and etc. Also, the appearance could be also modified just like that. And what can we do also in here? We can go ahead and click on publish. Since it is going to be published already, we are going to click on install and copy that code. We're going to head over here and create a section specific for that specific or this widget. We're going to click on here. We're going to add an element and we are going to have it embed so we are going to click on embed html we're going to paste our code click on update and normally it is going to be in here so we are going to have it just like that i don't know why it did not update the code because we need basically hello a code and normally when you are going to see uh outside audio player this is not an audio player please I think that we've got the wrong thing in here. So WhatsApp chat, this is it. I'm going to copy my WhatsApp. This is something that I have did wrong, I think. So we are going to see the WhatsApp added in here. So basically, you're not going to make it scrollable like that, but it is going to be static. 
basically that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one